By the end of this video, I am going to have shown you some of the hidden secrets of mech combat. So from running a host of experiments with all of the mechs, there are some mechs which are way more useful than their initial description suggests. This is going to be nice and brief and hopefully really informative for you. So let's go. First up, the early game mechs. Now, I have tested out all of them in combat against each other. And of the mechs that have more domesticated purposes, the Agri Hand is actually really useful at hand to hand combat. It beats all other non combat pawns and it'll take down some standard armored weaponed pawns as well. Pretty well. Now, this is very useful in the early game for bolstering up your, uh, your fighting force. But do not be fooled by the Constructoid robot. Its gun is so terrible in terms of accuracy. At like close and medium range, it doesn't hit anything. Can't beat anything, it's rubbish. Now then, looking at the mid-game mechs. If you're looking for a mech that's really gonna help bolster your fighting force again, look no further than the Tunneler. So this mech has a shield around it and it is so tanky. Head to head, it will take down similar based mechs like your Scythers and also your Lancers. As long as it can close that distance in time, once it gets into short range, it does reasonably enough melee damage that it's gonna win the fight. So these are great at absorbing all the firepower whilst your backline actually deals out the damage. And while we're talking mid game, question for you all What's the deal with the Tesseron mechs? I can't find a good use for them. They just seem to slightly set things a bit on fire, don't really kill pawns. If you know good use for them, comments below please. As you get to the more expensive mechs, it's important to spend your resources and your points wisely. So whilst a centipede feels like a good investment, it's tanky and it does quite a lot of damage, you can actually get more firepower out of running multiple lancers for the same cost. Again, head to head, three lancers will beat a centipede. And in terms of cost, they're basically the same. And although they're squishier, there's multiple separate targets that have to be taken down. So perhaps if you're considering taking on one larger mech, perhaps multiple lancers would be a better option than a single centipede. It's the same case when you look at something like a Diabolus as well. In fact, four Lancers will take down a Diabolus head to head. But, obviously the Diabolus offers you that area of effect weapon that's really good at taking down a host of pawns. And really, this is important to know when it comes to the much larger mechs. Essentially, they're all designed for specific reasons. So you want to tailor what you build to the tactics you're using and the force that you're likely to face. Whether you want some kind of area control, you're looking for mob distraction perhaps with a war queen, or as a personal favorite, what you really want is centurions. These deploy their large shields, which are overlappable and will protect everything inside. So there you could include your lancers and essentially create a mega death squad reasonably cheap. So guys, if you'd like to share any of your own mech tips, please add them in the comments below. And if you found this useful, I'd love a like. Enjoy your in-world, guys. I'll catch you in a bit.